Evidence of mega floods and major planetary disruptions scar our planet worldwide, telling a story that has largely been ignored by academia. Slow, gradual change has been a narrative as logic, common sense, and the obvious seem to be dismissed. There are and have been many exceptions to the gradualist model throughout history, but evidence for the catastrophist model is amassing exponentially thanks to many dedicated researchers. Participating in one geological expedition with Randall Carlson and Bradley Young and you will be presented with undeniable evidence of sudden extreme climatic disruptions on a scale so large as truly beyond our ability to comprehend. What could be the cause of these civilization ending disasters? Stories abound, steeped in mythology, describe in detail extreme conditions that occurred in our ancient past. The story of Noah and the Great Flood, the thunderbolts of Zeus, the fire and brimstone, catastrophic events that seem to be preceded by great teachers who intervene, warning and assisting mankind to prepare, then returning after destruction, teaching skills required to rebuild civilization. Is it possible that these teachers preserved in an architectural design the curriculum, the culmination of all knowledge, that above all includes a precise understanding of these destructive cycles? This is a real possibility that I've been researching in earnest for over 25 years. I appreciate the opportunity to present to you here just some of the evidence I've recovered back engineering the architectural design at the Giza Plateau. It is based on this hypothesis. The Giza is designed as an architectural repository encoding information necessary to rebuild civilization. This includes, but is not limited to, the knowledge and understanding of systems of measure, the celestial motions, and how these motions dictate conditions on Earth. Most importantly is the timing of these events, marking the yearly seasonal changes as well as the changes that occur over a course of millennia. Tracking the procession of the equinoxes and the path of our Sun was and is of utmost importance. Giza's architectural composition embodies the tools that allow this task to be accomplished. Encoding this information was done by using a template design, using layers or pages, each containing related facets of information. Each facet is necessary to assemble a coherent plan and understanding of the knowledge. Beginning with observation and geometry, the system of measure can be recovered. These are the cornerstones of science. This information is necessary for humanity's survival and the architects were acutely aware of these facts. In this presentation I'll demonstrate how the celestial motions were recorded in the architectural design of Giza. How the star stories, the, the mythology, describes these cyclical events. And how the constellations and their asterisms in the heavens plot these motions. I'll demonstrate how specific geometry of these motions align with the timing of the catastrophic events. Reconciliation of the calendars has long been eluding scholars, but I will demonstrate how the synchronization of the Egyptian, Hebrew, Mayan, and Gregorian calendars are accomplished indexing with the galactic alignment of 2012, the great realignment of the cosmic clock. Unmeasurable are the many important ramifications and implications of this research. I hope you'll join me in this presentation that will add greatly to the body of knowledge we are all seeking. My journey to seek these answers and more began in 1997 when I traveled to Egypt with my friend and mentor, the late John Anthony West, to whom I credit the evolution of this research. His strict guidance and support will never be forgotten. 